All right, this is a video on how to remove the centrifugal pulley from this Kawasaki engine I pulled out of a club car golf cart. Uh, this will also work for snowmobiles, Kawasaki's, and other snowmobiles as well. Uh, first is I went online to go and look for a video on how to do it. There was only a couple videos, one of them which was kind of a fail. Uh, they do make a tool. Uh, the tool, uh, if you buy the tool, you have to know what size to buy because they come in different sizes. So if you do buy the wrong one, um, I did watch one person who bought the wrong size and it didn't work very well. And then he had screwdrivers prying it, trying to get it off and it was just a fail. So here it is. Uh, here are some of the tools. You don't need to buy the tool. You can just do it with just basic tools. Here's what I had. Uh, you will need to go to say Lowe's or Home Depot. I went to Home Depot and I bought this screw or this bolt. Make sure they're grade A bolts, fine thread, and it's 20, 20, uh, uh, so it's a 7 16 uh, 20 thread. So that's a fine thread. So you want to make sure that this bolt here screws into here. Now what I did, I've already done this, so, but I'm just going to walk it through the motions. Uh, also, you'll need a, either like a 3 8, 5 and five inch or five and a half. I had to go with five and a half and I'll show you why, where that's gonna come into play. So first thing to do is you take this bolt out. Uh, now I did it with an impact driver, get it out. Uh, you may need to stop up the cylinder, which I'll cover in a minute, but I didn't need to, the impact driver took it right off. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take a screwdriver or something, some thin rod and stick it in all the way in until you feel it bottom out. Mark that spot. Once you mark that spot, you take the tape measure and you will measure it. In this case, the spot was five, just over five and a half, about five and three quarters of an inch, roughly. So it's five and three quarters of an inch. So that's how deep that was in there. So I had to go with the five and a half inch. So I cut this down to five, just under five and a half, and that was a perfect size. And the reason why is this here, this is the thread, this is the fine thread, and you're gonna screw this in, and I suggest you get some oil, screw it in, screw it in until it bottoms out. When it bottoms out, take a measurement as to how much of the bolt is sticking out. In this case, it was maybe about a little bit about a half an inch so i had about half an inch that was sticking out so the rest of the thread was grabbing so you're going to take that subtract that from from the five and three quarter and that is going to be your plunge depth all right so you want to make sure that this is somewhere between five and a quarter and five and a half so in this case i went with five and a half I also took this and put this in a grinder and ground off the threads because that way it stuck in there very nicely. Now, you're gonna take this in, you're gonna stick it in all the way in like that, make sure it bottoms out, and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna screw it in there like that until it bottoms out. When it, it's loose right now, but it will bottom out. Now, chances are it's gonna be very tight you may be able to do it with an impact driver, but most likely you're not going to be able to. You're going to need probably a breaker bar in order to stop the cylinder from moving. Turn the cylinder until the cylinder head, and you can do it with a screwdriver. Stick a screwdriver down, down there until the screwdriver, until you feel the cylinder's all the way at the bottom. Take some string and shove some string all the way in there. Now I'm not gonna do it because it does take a minute or two, but this is, I got about six foot of string, actually maybe about seven foot of this string. Make sure it's a nice, hard, thick string. You'll shove it in there. <clears throat> and then you'll take the bolt, start screwing the bolt down. And when you do, the cylinder will go up. It'll rub up against the string. The string, the string will prevent the cylinder from going all the way up there by stopping it. And now you can get your breaker bar on this and start turning it. This popped off. It sounded like a gunshot when it went off, but it worked. And that's how you do it.